Oh, I'm so glad to be back in Oregon. Just finally getting back from the ant visit. So we cleaned out her barn and now we're headed back home. Let's get to it. Ooh, what is this? What are you, why is you driving so quickly? What the heck is that guy doing? Oh, is that the same, where did, where did all his stuff go? Where did Jim move his stuff back? I don't know. It's a little stranger. I don't know what happened. Jim must have moved all of his stuff. I don't know why, because pretty sure we're going to move to the field right adjacent to it. Oh well. I need to get back and uh, unload my uh, precious cargo in here. If you didn't know, we got a John Deere. We got two John Deeres, actually. We got a John Deere 6020, an old putt 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 putter. We also got a John Deere uh, Model A. So I, I don't know if I'll get the Model A to run, but uh, the 620 is running just fine. I did start pricing out some uh, a moving company because uh, we didn't get to basically pick up everything we wanted to. Uh, but what? Who? What? What is this guy doing? What? Oh, that police officer is crazy. Pretty sure he went directly for me. What the heck is going on here? All right, we need to pull in here. I need to check my uh, cows and everything too. So I have a few uh, lists to do. So I I've been gone for about two days. Uh, it rained, so my wife wanted me to take a long visit. Uh, I'm afraid she's probably not gonna be happy with me because I didn't get all of her antiques she wanted. But, oh well. All right, we'll shut that. So open this up. There is our Model A. So we got to get this pulled out there. Uh, what the heck? This stuff didn't exactly make the trip that well. Kind of got uh, banged around in there. But we pulled all these back from a couple uh, from uh, basically what she live about 120 miles away. So. Just a little distance, not terrible. Uh, I guess one will be a nice lawn art, at least. And uh, if we can't get it to run, but that's going to be a while. And uh, I can use a uh, 6020, I can use something. It has a nice three point hitch on it, so that will be convenient around this farm. I'm going to get these pulled out here and uh, see what we got. Got that thing uh, parked, think where I want it. Oh, what's up, Buck? I missed you, buddy. How's it going? I'll feed you over here. There you go, Buck. Eat up. All right, now the 6020 should run. At least it was running. All right, come on, run. Oh, yeah. There we go, a little putt, putt, putting for you. Back this whole thing up. So I really should have took a bigger trailer because I ant had more stuff than I remembered anyway. So I uh, had a lot of items. So kind of felt bad after a while. I didn't bring more. You know what? Let's try this old uh, this thing going to run. Probably should grease it first. Oh, look at that. We are going away. Surprised we could cut this grass this late in the year. I'm gonna have to go grease that up before I get too far. I don't want that thing sounding like it uh, definitely needed a little bit of grease. So we'll put this in our, our garage here or our shop. Hopefully, 
get to it here in the near future. Put it right in front of this uh, planter and it'll be one of our uh, winter projects, I guess. Looking forward to using you. You'll be a fun tractor to use, even if we uh, don't really use it for practical purposes. Uh, so, I'm gonna think I'm gonna turn in, well, man, I almost forgot to feed my cattle. I have to go feed them quickly. I know, I know, I almost forgot. I know. Alright, so we're gonna run this feed truck over. Just gotta give... Fill these guys back up and gals. Mostly gals, I guess. It's my cow calf operation over here. Now, uh, gotta run over to my dairy operation. So we'll run over here. Fill these guys, girls, up mostly. Dairy's mostly girls. Sorry, guys. There we go. Feed in the trough. All right, we should be good. I need a louder horn or something. Come on, move, move, move. It's not a pun. I need you to move. So we'll get. Ooh, I drove over the cement pile. Oops. I. I mean, I drove over the the poop pile. Probably shouldn't do that. Good thing it was nice and hardened. We'll get this uh, truck parked in the shed, and I think I'll turn in for the night. Uh, I really don't know. I, I don't know if our corn will go tomorrow or not. So I'm sure Jim has something for us to do. That's We don't have nothing pressing. All right, let's turn in. Man, I don't know what Jim wanted, but he sounded nervous. He said I he needs me first thing in the morning. Somebody caused a havoc. All right. He said, just come when the sun comes up. Make sure I come over there as quickly as possible. Oh, shoot. Guess, uh, slept in a little bit. I'm going to have to get dressed here real quick. Get over to Jim's. Oh. I didn't know I had the camera on. Oops. Oops, sorry about that. Remember, everyone, always wash your hands. Especially now in flu season. All right, so I need to get this trailer back to Jim's anyways. So I'm going to take that trailer back. need to feed the buck again. There you go, buck. And uh, so I need to get this trailer back. And uh, he needs me for something. He sounded piss last night. Did I leave the lights on on this thing? Uh-oh. Hopefully I didn't leave the lights on and the battery's dead. We'll see. Alright, sounds like... Oh, yep. Gonna start here. That's good. So, it's still a little uh, late in the morning, but the sun is starting to come up. We're gonna get uh, this over to Jim's and find out what exactly he needs us to do. I have no idea what he wants us to do. Late, late last night, I tried to look up, see how much it cost to uh, move. So I, I wanted an international truck and possibly uh, a uh, Ford or a international truck, an old Chevy truck, Dually. And what was the other one? Oh, uh, John Deere 500 or 5000 series. So, don't know. I mean, I might just have to tell my aunt to uh, sell them because uh, it's looking pretty expensive to get that uh, ship. I don't know if I'll have the time with the dairy farm and everything to go back down there and pick them up. So, pretty busy, especially I'm a farmhand and a full-time farmer. I mean, how does that work? What do we have going on here? What? Man, that... Wow! He was moving! You see that? 
Yeah, Jim must have did something with his uh, harvesters. He had a whole crew over there. Move that all back by himself? That's crazy. Jim don't work that hard. Everyone knows that. So, hopefully uh, it doesn't have nothing to do with that. I don't, I don't know what his problem was calling me late at night. But Jim's usually one of them uh, old time uh, sleepers. Wakes up at the break of dawn every day. Don't know. So I'm going to park this over here here where he, I picked it up at first. Get that unhitched. Alright, that's done. Find out what Jim wants us to do over here. Something he's in a rush for. I'm, you know, where the heck is his harvesters and everything? I thought they would be back at the farmyard here. It's crazy. There's all of his trucks, tractors, grain carts, harvesters. I don't see anything. Oh, I think Jim's yelling at me. I gotta go over here. Wow. So Jim said he he doesn't know what happened, but somebody basically he doesn't know where all his equipment is. It's all missing. All of it. Every bit of it. What? I mean, he said uh, it was late last night when he noticed it, and uh, he's going to try to go follow tracks this morning. He has, uh, he's already called 911. Oh, man, I don't, I don't know what the heck is going on, but we got some trouble. So he wants me to go down there, and we're going to try to run the tracks and see if we can fi figure out where these uh, harvesters are at. You know, Jim, I did see this weird uh, blue uh, Chevy. I think it was like a uh, K30 or something like that, an older Chevy. He had these, uh, I don't know, these, these like low pro uh, lift on it. I, I, it's not my fancy. I, I don't really like that style of truck, but anyways, he was doing something over there with your equipment. I don't know exactly what he was doing, but when I stopped and go uh, ask questions, he took off like a bad out of you know what, just flying down the road. So I don't know, may maybe uh, I should call the cops and give them a tip or something. I I, I know I, I kind of when I drove back, I was just like, what the heck is Jim doing? Oh, it looks like you got the police. Oh, so they're looking for your vehicle? They're looking for your equipment? Wow. Alright. And I, I don't know why they're running around with their lights on, though. You'd think they would... Should be tracks around here somewhere. Wow. They sure do uh, look at a fast rate of speed, don't they? What? what? Wow. Where did things go? If you'd slow down, maybe you could see something in the in the side of the road, maybe. Uh, maybe they're not looking for Jim's equipment. I don't know what they're doing, but... Alright, so... Jim! Like... We're like literally right there. Did you move them over there? What the heck is that? Go, let's there that's gotta be your equipment who else owns there's not that many new class combines over there I know I didn't move them and I, I don't know I mean what most of your equipment's on demo or loan I don't know what the heck going on watch out Jim there's somebody coming That's gotta be. Maybe we should, uh, I should call 911 and uh, report this. Let's go over there and see what we got. You know, I did see that, that blue K30 driving back here at an erratic speed last night. Man. 
you know what? We need to call the cops once we get up here and uh, tell them to start looking for that that blue truck. He is definitely a person person of interest. There is no way. Yep. Oh man, Jim. What? Look at all this stuff. Oh man, Jim. What did they do? Jim, they left all your equipment running. What the? Is this? This looks like somebody's old dump. Oh man. Oh man. Isn't that grain cart loaded? Oh man, Jim. Jim. Oh, this ain't good. What the heck did. Looks like this is old dump yard that they just put all your equipment in. Jim, do you have enemies around here? Oh, wow. Wow, yeah. That thing is. How did they even get this stuff in here? This grain. This grain cart's full right there. Look at that. Oh, man. Jim, I don't see your semis, though. See your semis anywhere around here. Oh. This combine's on demo. I don't... Oh, man, this is bad news. We don't even own some of this stuff. That tractor's on demo. Uh-oh. This is a lot of equipment here. All right, Jim, I'm gonna call 911 and get them over, headed over. All right, Jim, I called the sheriff's department. They're on their way. I think they should be heading up any time. Oh, yep, I see them pulling up now. Ooh, wonder. Man, this is gonna be a tough one. And we got a lot of work to do to get all this stuff pulled out of here. Ooh, yep, here they come. Man. They're gonna have to do some some investigating and figure out what's going on here. So they want us to hold off. They're gonna run some fingerprints, uh, try to get some tracks. Probably shouldn't be walking around in the crime scene. But they're gonna try to uh, basically get what they can out of this. Uh, it's kind of unfortunate because this is all trash. So you can't really. I mean, if the guy leaves a wrapper or cigarette somewhere, uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be normal trash, so I don't know, but I really want to try to start getting all this stuff uh, possibly pulled out of here. I hope he didn't break anything. Grain carts are not going to be easy, so uh, I think me and Jim are just going to let them do their job, basically, and um, we're going to ride back. Uh, probably get something to uh, help pull this stuff out probably uh, the only other tractors we have back at the back at Jim's place and uh, maybe we can get this pulled out I mean this grain cart is completely full I mean just think we're so lucky I mean Ben pretty sure we still are missing some trucks so we gotta find the trucks somewhere around here uh, man this is gonna be a tough one can't believe all this junk and everything but we'll go get a tractor to help pull this stuff out hopefully and uh get this stuff pulled get out of the policeman's way they said they'll give us a call once they deem it uh safe to uh start our uh recovery actions i guess you would call it yeah i guess it'd be recovery of our vandalized equipment oh man I don't know. I, I'm gonna have to start getting Jim a better uh, managing his keys or something. Probably should have picked up that we should have probably would have told him, "Hey, that guy's over there snooping." Well, I did call Jim, and he still. I'm surprised he still didn't uh, go over there and lock everything up. At least, so we called the local uh, dealership here. They're actually going to let us use their uh, 9RT here. So that will work for us. It'll help us out. So we're going to 
basically use this big old beast to help pull out a lot of the stuff. This is a 9570 bigger and all Jim's tractor. So the only thing Jim has is he has a 8R back at the garage over there, but I don't know. I mean, all them grain carts and uh, harvesters are heavy, probably a little bit too heavy for it. So we're going to use the 9RT. Hopefully that helps us. We will see though. All right, so we're going to pull this. Uh, we're going to take this down there and hopefully it pulls most of it out. Don't know for sure. We might have to ask for assistance. I, I don't know. I mean, this thing, I mean, we're just farmers. We are not professionals at this. Uh, I, we're just, I just want to make sure none of Jim's equipment get any more broke than what it already is. Definitely gonna take all his stuff back to the the garage and basically back to his his farmyard and check it all over because uh, you never know what is broken, what needs repaired, uh, if something's cracked, the iron's cracked somewhere. So we're just gonna play it safe and uh, get it all repaired right away. It's not too far, so we'll get this hooked up. I think I'm gonna once the cops get out of here or the sheriffs I'm gonna basically pull that big grain cart out first it's fully loaded oh man we don't even have a semi to unload oh I guess Jim does have one semi left back at the farmyard but probably need to unload it and check it for cracks and all that stuff all right let's see how much longer the sheriff department has all right, so the sheriff department's leaving. So I, I believe, don't run over the corn. Come on, guys. Are you serious? Uh, they took all the information. I'm so stupid. I should have got the license plate of that uh, blue truck I saw driving around. But hopefully we can find that guy because that guy is definitely a person of interest. So they're taking off. So we can start with the recovery operation here. Uh, they did advise us to hope, contact our insurance company or Jim's insurance company and have them come out and eval this all before we move. So Jim's calling that. So I'm going to start hooking up uh, what I can. Oh man, just look at all this trash here. Somebody needs to bury all this stuff. This is crazy. That's a lot of junk. But I'm going to hook up this while Jim's doing that, and uh, hopefully I can get this uh, grain cart pulled back. That's the plan. Uh, they did advise us, too, to just use a actual wrecking company, so that way it covers. So I don't know exactly what we're going to do. Jim hasn't decided, but... Alright, so I'm going to get this... Uh thing uh, backed up over here. I'm going to try to hook it on back of this uh, grain cart if I can. Basically uh, get that chain hooked up to the back somewhere, hopefully. And uh, pull this grain cart out. These uh, tracked uh, single or dual tracked uh, tractors, they work pretty good as long as you're going straight. So you always got to figure out when you're pulling something. You got to pull it straight as possible. Uh, where so we are high centered on this hitch. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty bad there, Jim. Whoa, what do we have here, Jim? Jim called some reinforcements here. All right, all right. It's a female driver too. Uh, that's kind of cool. So I'm gonna back Jim's truck up, and then uh, probably uh, will help lift off the back of this basically lift off that hitch while we're pulling it and then we'll do a little pendulum action I guess hopefully all right I'm gonna have her back this up and basically try to get this as level as possible and hopefully put it right here and then hopefully uh, uh, yeah we can need to get this harvester out there we can't break that thing oh man there's so much stuff to do so I'm gonna yeah, get her turned around here. She really parked up in that tree, so she's gonna get that, get that hitched up, and I'm gonna try to slowly pull this big old trailer backwards here. All right, 
Alright, we're hitched, so we'll try this nice and slow. Alright, get the end of that there. Alright, so we got that backed up over there. So I'm pretty sure we got this pulled out. So I'll undo the chain here. Man, it just put us all over the place. But we got that out of that little mound. I don't know how he got that up there. Oh, man, this 8R is going to be tough. We're going to have to figure out some way to get that old girl off of there. Poor old girl. Oh, man. This thing has some grain in it, too. Yep. Oh, no. Uh-oh. That's not good. Let me get this uh, 9RT out of the way and then get this uh, grain cart home. Alright, so we are headed home with this thing. So, uh, I'm just glad they didn't, like, uh, leave feces or anything inside the cab. That would have been disgusting. Uh, anything else they would have done in this cab late at night. Glad that didn't happen. But at least that's one good thing. I guess that's one blessing you call that but we have one giant grain cart recovered this thing is completely full of grain so uh, I think I'm gonna take this back and I'm gonna unload it here quickly park it in the shop for uh, Jim to uh, or he'll probably be me to look at uh, inspect make sure there isn't no major damage anywhere uh, the insurance department came out and they basically took all their pictures they needed, did everything they need to do, so now it's just us for up for us to recover. Uh, Jim wants to do it mostly himself because he doesn't trust other people to uh, wreck his expensive equipment. Don't really blame him. Alright, we're going to unfold this. We're going to load this truck up. That's what Jim gave us the orders to do. Start this truck up, get the air running, fill this up. Man, look at them little tires. They got the squat on them. Big beast tires. All that grain on that thing puts a squat on them. Alright, so we'll go unfill this. I mean, we'll load this trailer up. Alright, we're unfilling this uh, grain cart like Jim asked us to. Jim and the uh, Rick the wrecking I guess recovery company uh, they are uh, trying to get the harvesters out hopefully they get them because I don't want to have to deal with them when I get there but we'll see ask Jim if he needs this 9R and he's like nope good for right now so uh, we are just gonna fill this grain box up get little full right here we'll go shut the door and start up over here there we go hope this grain cart doesn't have a crack or something because all that extra weight playing around doing whatever they wanted to I'm surprised they didn't tear up any of the corn at least they were considerate enough to do that but must have been drinking having a party barn fire uh, when I was younger, this actually happened to a local farmer of ours, so they, uh, back in the day, it was pretty common for all the, the farm equipment, for the keys to be left in it, and out in the farm, and not really have to be secured, and there's a couple young kids, hoodlums, if you want to say, just, you know, not really know their path in life yet, and, uh, they wrapped some of this expensive equipment around what you call a center pivot. So it's just an irrigation pivot. And, uh, yep, they were drinking. Decided they wanted to uh, go uh, joyride some of this equipment. The problem is, is uh, at night, they didn't realize them pivots are run pretty low. And uh, they put a harvester in a grain cart and wrecked one up there and did a lot of damage so they got jail time for it so hopefully we'll find the verdict on here and they get jail time too 
All right, so I'm going to go unload this load into the grain bins quickly and then uh, go help Jim. Appears that possibly... Oh, man, Jim got the harvesters out of there. I do see him working over there, so... Harvesters... Man, they, they, they're working quick there, so... I didn't take that long unloading that grain cart and truck. So, looks like they working on that other grain cart. Let's go find out if they need help or not. Leave this right here. Shut it off. Take the key. Lock the door. So I'm gonna see if Jim needs help. What they're doing here. Probably have to ride the 8R at least. Oh, this one's gonna be tricky. It doesn't look like they've got anything. Alright, how are we going to attack this one? This one, they... Looks like they just backed this old girl in there. Man. This one's going to be tough. We're going to need a long chain for this. Let's see how we do this. Can't believe it that uh, 8R just actually pulled this old girl right out there. So the grain cart only has like 300 bushels or something like that. So, uh, it's actually doing pretty good. I really can't believe this, uh, thing pulled it out of there. Now, we still aren't out in the clear yet. Man. That's just crazy. That they even got these things up here to begin with. But this, uh, 8R with tracks is like no joke. This thing will basically break something. Jim gave me the okay and I just kind of took off with it and it just followed me. I'm a little bit nervous I might have cracked something back there, the frame of that old J&M, but we will see. Oh, combines are in my way, so I gotta move all these combines back. We're gonna look these over before we head into this field right here. And uh, we gotta search for a truck around here somewhere. We got two trucks missing. I'm a little bit nervous they took them out of state and tried to sell the grain. But uh, thank you all for watching, and I will see you later here in Oregon. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. See you next time.